I'm Today I'm going to talk about three different dialects in Germany. Uh, there are a lot of uh, different dialects in Germany and they're incomprehensible. A foreigner like Michael, please come over here, uh, wouldn't understand a word. So let's travel to Saxony to, let's say, for, to Chemnitz, for example. Das ist einfach. Geh mal und vorwärts und dann links, bis der Tension sehst. Dann gehst du geradeaus bis zum Bahnhof. Entschuldigung. German of sex has a lot of own words. Hola. Which means woman. They are also like to invent new words which only a small of group of people know. For example, Zibak Seizure. No. Which is translated as motorcycle. They are also used on words of saying something. For example, the since, since are you watching TV again? In high German it would be Schaust du schon wieder Fernsehen? And in Sexy. Klopfst du schon wieder in der Röhre? And adding to all the complexity, the sex nerds have a funny way to pronounce German. Now let us travel to Switzerland, Bern. Entschuldigung, wir kommen nicht zu Bern. Du sagst zwölf Busnamen, musst schlagen. Das neue Tram ist auf der gleichen Seite. Aber wenn du die Berner Berg kaufen willst, ist es günstiger wie Mikro. Swiss German is a language for itself. It is really close to the medieval German and has French and Italian words. But they also invent own words like Tuff, which mean motorcycle. And there are other words like Gebig, means either comfortable, either usable, and something good. Isn't the definition change in the context? Uh, and also, one of the best words in Swiss German is... Hype. This word is literally a universal word, which can nearly anything and be turned into an adjective or a verb. There are a lot of words that no German knows and that can't be translated, for example... In Swiss German, you use the sound <laughs> too much. So, a lot of foreigners have uh, trouble to, on pronouncing the, pronouncing the H. And uh, also, in Swiss German, in theory, if they would speak High German, a German would say that they would make, uh, that they do mistakes. And, uh, for example, in Swiss, the standard uh, High German or standard German, uh, you say instead of uh, Führerschein, you say Führerausweis, and in, instead of die Tram, you say das Tram in Switzerland. Next, let's go to Austria Triol. Entschuldigung, dürfte ich bitte eine Wurst haben? Ja, das darfst du. Muchst du einen großen oder äh, einen kleinen? Deswegen kostet 5 Cent extra. Ah, die Fasolenmoise äh, ist frisch gemacht. Äh, Mochst du ein bisschen? In Tirolerisch, the ich, which means I, is pronounced as i. And also, äh, Bohnen is äh, ex, äh, exchanged with Fasolen. Äh, most of the Austrian dialects are influenced by um, Slavic speaking uh, uh, languages. Uh, so if you speak Russian or 
uh, Slovak, you may understand some words. Kuchichastli, kuchakastla. Also, like the Swiss Germans, the Austrians have uh, their own uh, words like Wegen, Doschen, and Hapsen. With this we conclude the film. See you in the real world!